In case you haven't heard, the turn-based Thursdays Fest was held last week and we are now in the final hours. The celebration of turn-based games was created by the turn-based Thursday team in collaboration with Steam. They've hand-picked over 350 games to be featured, many of which have discounts and demos available. Now I'm going to show you some of my most anticipated games from the festival, many of which are from indie and solo developers. Wishlist them, try the demos and let me know what you think below in the comments. You won't be disappointed. Let's go! The crusade is about to overwhelm us! Chimera Entertainment's Songs of Silence is a lush fantasy auto-battler with a strategic map reminiscent of Age of Wonders 4. With its gorgeous presentation and fast-paced gameplay, this is one title strategy fans won't want to miss. Lorelei, it's been an honor fighting by your side. Songs of Silence is set to enter early access on the 23 May, but based on the demo, it will have a lot to offer even at this stage. We expect it to be on our radar throughout the process, so check it out. Fate brought us here. We did not come by choice. that devoured my home. Please, Guiding Star, send me a sign. Queen Lorelei of Erumgard, they call me Myrna. The bird will guide you to my side when the time comes. The Crusade brings you a better future. Soon, there shall only be silence. The Void will devour everything, unless we stop the Crusade. Firstborn, Starborn, even Constructs, deep down, we are all as one. Meet Howard, daring explorer, who vanished... Chantico from Tal Troll Game. Is a fascinating blend of survival and roguelike deck builder. By playing survivors to gather resources and craft equipment, you'll develop your board to prepare for the dangers of a deep jungle. With its pulp comic book style reminiscent of Indiana Jones, Untraveled Lands offers a sense of daring adventure through cards alone. It's expected to launch towards the end of 2024. While explorers the jungle itself. The jungle holds many secrets. Dare to uncover all the mysteries. Discover untraveled lands. Shantico. Wishlist on Steam. The grid-based combat in Gemelli's game Sky Guard Arena should be familiar to anyone who played XCOM or Fire Emblem at first. While positioning, cover and HP management are all just as vital as you'd expect, Sky Guard Arena offers deep customization in how you set up your team. Choosing from 12 heroes with dozens of equipment and ability selections, this game is built to put Theory crafting at the forefront. Naturally, there's a PvP mode alongside the single player campaign, so you can put your meticulously designed loadout to the test. No release date has been announced yet.
some of the best tactical games offer a stealth element, and Snail Bites Dead Season challenges players to carefully navigate the zombie apocalypse as quietly as possible. Each scenario feels straight out of The Walking Dead or The Last of Us as you lead your squad of survivors to scavenge critical gear without alerting the undead orders. Shooting on oncoming zombie might be the only way to prevent a bite, but the sound could trigger a swarm. The same goes for car alarms, explosions and shattering glass. And once the order attacks, it's time to get out, fast. That season is expected to launch sometime in 2024. With its airy top-down environments, Man Machina's Dead Underworld feels like the dungeon delving cousin to Songs of Conquest. As a lone traveler, you'll explore a procedurally generated world in a quest for survival. While you might find other adventurers to join you, your interests might not align with theirs. Between ingratiating yourself with the world's factions, evading its many dangers and handling personality clashes, you'll have your hands full as you explore the dead underworld. The game is expected to release later this year, though no date has been given just yet. Edomancer by Moy Ray Games builds itself as monster taming meets roguelite, and it could be a great fit for nuns, lockers, and other Pokemon fans looking for a more hardcore gameplay experience. You'll command teams of three monsters in battle, developing their skills to synergize with one another. A monster that falls in battle dies for good, but can be reborn if you capture its soul. As an Edermancer, you can reincarnate fallen monsters, keeping their traits and stats, but losing all the skills they've acquired. All this happens in a fantasy world lovingly presented through quality pixel animations. Be sure to follow this one on Steam, since it doesn't have a release date listened yet. Signal Space Labs, every day we fight, depicts an alien invasion where the extraterrestrials have trapped Earth in a time loop. Only your small band of soldiers, drawn from both sides of a war that was being fought when the aliens arrived, are aware of the loop or able to do anything about it. Living and dying over and over again, your resistance cell will need to destroy alien machinery and defeat their troops wherever they can. The gameplay seems to be a blend of XCOM and Valkyria Chronicles against a backdrop of war-torn ruins and exotic technology. We are excited to give it a try when it releases later in 2024. Don't see any more. Time to take. That was the last one. You have been pulled through time.
with its dramatic name and dark fantasy vibe, Escape the Mud Empire could be a lost advanced Dungeons and Dragons campaign from the 90s. The challenging tactical RPG experimental Z games roguelike uses real time with pause to let players execute devastating combos and quickly react to changing battlefield situations. Enhancing your heroes relies on using cursed crystals. You'll need the power they offer, but they carry the risk of corrupting or destroying your party. Escape the Mad Empire is expected to enter an early access period before launch, but no date for either has been announced. Iron Hive by Wondernaut Studios turns CD building into a deck builder. As the unquestioned ruler of a post-apocalyptic settlement, you'll build a society capable of withstanding the cosmic horrors that ravage the world. Between sending out expeditions into the dangerous wastelands and maintaining stability at home, Iron Hive doesn't have a release date yet, but we are excited to try it when it launches. Move Redwall to a modern city, specifically the back allies and dumpsters, and you'll have solo developers tire and back against charming tactical battler Trash of the Titans. Leading an army of raccoons, possum and other scavengers, you'll face off against swarms of rats intent on stealing your hard-won garbage. Trash of the Titans is wonderfully flippant and uses a Tetris-style minigame between fights to distribute scraps among your party members. It's expected to enter early access in 2024, but you can try the free demo on Steam right now. Northwind by Barking Kitten Interactive is Slade Spire meets Monster Hunter. Building a deck as you journey into the frozen wastes, you'll find progressively larger and more vicious beasts. Northwind boasts lovely artwork for the heroes and monsters in battles, but its environments, including the town that you'll upgrade along the way, are the real stars, visually speaking. Try the demo to see what we mean and be ready to check out the early access build when it arrives later this year. You may not have played the 1986 PC game Rebel Star, which inspired Arch Rebel Tactics, but solo developer Ularis Butler has given retro tactical gameplay a 21st century makeover. With limited forces, you'll need to take back the planet Capricorn from an invading empire by prioritizing mission objectives and managing logistics. Arch Rebel Tactics offers a persistent campaign where your choices matter, as well as procedurally generated missions and an Iron Man mode for endless challenges. It doesn't have a release date yet, but it's expected to have a free demo when it launches so you can see if it's the next game to keep you up overnight.
in Slaves of Magic, Amethyst Dreamers takes the core concept of XCOM 2 and moves it to a medieval setting. An overwhelming force from another world has invaded using their magic to pose as the gods and take control. As the leader of her assistance, you'll develop hideouts and seek soldiers across the conquered continent, striking at the invaders where they are weak as you develop your own strength. There's a demo available for download with a full game launching near the end of this year. Diablo Games Wanderers Sigil feels like a cross between For the King and Astrea Six Sided Oracles. Equipping your party of four adventurers gives them access to custom dice, which are then rolled in combat for good or for ill. An overworld map lets you explore and choose your route, seeking new gear and carefully selecting which battles to face. It's scheduled to launch later this year, and there's a free demo available to play right now. This video ends here, let me know what you think about this 15 games in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting me through all my pages. Wish you the best, ciao!